Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller. And today we are going to be opening up a Shop Goodwill lot. This box is supposed to be new with tags, new without tags. It is, doesn't say what the weight was. I'll check the label in a quick second. Um, the lot was $24.75, shipping was $10.61, and handling was $4.99 plus tax so my total was 42.14 for this lot and the reason i bought it is because i saw some new tags i saw some new tags chicos um so i figured this lot looked pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and open it um i remember seeing from the pictures there was a lot of things that did not look like they were new like a lot of things that just had no tags so curious to see how they what they consider new without tags but that is the lot let's take a picture all right i went ahead and took my screenshots for um my thumbnail picture and let's get started i see a couple of rings on top maybe we'll start with those um i see maybe something that looks like maybe kate spade we'll grab that out um this looks like it could be gold actually let's see if we can easily I don't think we will, so we're actually going to leave those in there for now. Um, yeah, I see some good things. So we're just going to grab a good handful of stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do is actually move this to the side so we can see. Um, right there might work. And we're just going to grab... Oh, there's a bangle inside of that. So there we go. So I'm grab some jewelry. I'm excited. I haven't had... I haven't opened the Shop Goodwill lot in a while, so I'm excited. I'm hoping, of course, for some, you know, name brands, for some sterling, maybe a piece of gold or so. I'm actually wearing the amazing, amazing, amazing Silpata bracelet that we got in my last Thread Up DIY box. Amazing piece. Cannot believe we got that. This looks like silver. I do have a testing acids and my magnets and some other things right here next to me. So if we need to test, we can. All right, I feel like that is enough to start out with. I think that's okay where it's at. It's kind of in the way though. Let's move it around a little bit. Okay. Okay, so first thing we have is a pair of White House Black Market stud style earrings they kind of look like um kate spade um they are not marked but this is what i mean by some earrings have like a rhinestone in the back i believe um there's several brands that do that loft white house black market um sometimes Banana republic but um a lot of like name brand earrings are just marked with that rhinestone so keep an eye out for that rhinestone it could mean that it is branded just not um actual branded you know what i mean okay this is cool this is a cuff bracelet i do not see any markings this definitely has wear so this definitely is not new with tags or new without tags um that's craft all right we'll take the side on court and see if they'll take it this is stunning again it has some of the gold tone is um losing on the end caps but it's still in a great condition, I think, besides that. Very, like, high-end looking. Very designer. Very pretty. Kind of gives me, um, Joan Rivers kind of vibes. Or David Yurman. I like that. I'm going to lower you really quickly, guys. Give me one second. All right. I think that might be a little bit better now. All right. So we have a bangle bracelet. It's in excellent condition. It's just a rose gold bangle. Unfortunately, these don't really go for a whole lot, so... Not sure if that will get listed or sold. Um, this is a nice little bangle. There's something inside of it. There we go. It's, so it's diamond cut gold tone. It's definitely just costume, but it's nice. Let me get the magnet so we can just test these bangles really quickly. Nope. Nope. Ooh. And ooh, this one is not magnetic, actually. Let's take one more look over it. I don't see any marks. I will t I'll put it to the side of test, but I don't believe it's gold. But it definitely kind of has that gold look. 
Sorry guys, I don't have my ring light turned on today. So hopefully you guys can see clearly and it's not going to be all like super dark. All right, this might be silver maybe, let's see. It's a pretty popular style. It's like a faux Tiffany. It's just silver tone. Yep, silver tone. Oh, I was going to look at the rings and we didn't do it. Okay, let's untangle this gorgeous ring. This is actually marked and Taylor 8. So I believe this is a size 8. Very pretty pave rhinestone all around, all around the band. Silver tone. Gorgeous. And it's a size 8, so it should fit that finger. Yep. Size 8. So nice. Next we have this gorgeous, probably CZ rhinestone ring. I don't see any markings on that, but it's gorgeous. This is a smaller size. I would say probably like a six. I'd say that's a six. Really pretty. All right, this one is awesome. It is um, CZs or rhinestones um, across these textured bands with a faux pearl, I believe, in the middle. Um, has, it's an excellent condition, has the adjuster on the inside so it can fit multiple sizes. And I think I saw a marking. Oh, I know this marking. It's NVC. I don't know if I can show that or not, or if it will show NVC. That is Natalia V. Collister, I believe. Um, she makes um, costume and fine jewelry. I do not see a silver mark, so I'm going to assume this is one of her costume rings. But um, some of her stuff can go for a good bit. Um, usually her sterling goes for more, of course. But um, I'll have to look this one up to see if that one's worth anything. All right, so we have, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at those marcasites. Marcasites in a CZ rhinestone in the middle. I'm not sure what that emblem is. Um, it is unmarked, unbranded. It's like a little spot of wear right here. I don't know if you will see that or not. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to Google Lens this to see what that is. Kind of looks like a double J maybe. Not sure. I'll have to look that one up. Okay, this looks like a Kate Spade. Um, this is gold tone with pink enamel. It says, a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. Um, it is not Marquette Spade, so we have a little knockoff. So I'm not going to sell that. Okay, this is gorgeous. This reminds me of like KJL. So it's like a peachy orange cabochon with um, a teal turquoise enameling with clear rhinestones. It is a gold tone clamp bracelet. Oh, it's Stella and Dot. So it is not KJL. It is actually a Stella and Dot piece. So Stella and Dot, nice. It's definitely sellable. Talking about Stella and Dot, this looks like Stella and Dot too. I've had this in silver tone. Now the one I had was missing rhinestones, I want to say. This one looks like they are all there, but I will do a more thorough search when I um, get off camera. So gold tone. Let's see if this one's marked. Mine was Mark Stella and Dot. I do not see the Stella and Dot logo. So, but I'm, I'm like 99% sure this is Stella and Dot. So nice. All right, so next we have a gorgeous clamp. It um, very much reminds me of Wooly Pulitzer or maybe Kate Spade. It is like a cream enamel with gold tone and clear rhinestones. It is a clamp. I do not see any maker's marks, but that is gorgeous. I love that. Some of these pieces may be in my upcoming... Um, my upcoming jewelry auctions so please make sure to follow my second channel brighten your day jewelry auctions um this is a lanyard and it does have quite a bit of wear on the clasp 
and a little bit on the jump rings. It's marked with an M. Now, I don't think this is a Michelle or whatever the watch brand is. Um, I believe it's just maybe Monet. I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to give it to my aunt because she likes those um, lanyards. All right. This is a gorgeous... I like this a lot. It kind of reminds me of like lace, like a doily. Silver tone bib necklace. Um, is this the Ann Taylor or is this the BCBG? I always get them confused. I think this is Ann Taylor, right? No. Maybe that's the BCBG. I'll try and put on the screen which one it is. But it's really... Oh, so it's just missing a jump ring. Actually, no, it's not. It just needs to... Is it? Yeah, it's missing a jump ring. Yeah, it's missing it. So I just have to find a jump ring that's the same size. So nice. That just needs to get reconnected. All right, not too bad so far. I saw this in the picture, this uncommon James um, earrings. So it is like a mustardy yellow gold. And it has maybe Jasper. It looks like Jasper Cabochon dangles. Retailed for $62. Uncommon James is very expensive. Now, not sure if this is one of the pieces that was in Thread Up or um, not Thread Up. Fafit Fun. Fafit Fun did um, have several Uncommon Jean pieces in their boxes. So I have to make sure it's not one of those. Just because usually if you get jewelry that came in a Fafit Fun box, it's very saturated. Um, this is just a little dainty little inklet or um, bracelet has wear but um doesn't mean the item isn't bad it just means it's very saturated it'll take longer to sell usually this looks like sterling I don't see a sterling mark though it could just be silver plated um this does have the safety latch and it's this gorgeous pave um like rhinestone marcusite it is missing no Thought it was missing one rhinestone, but just the way it was cut. Um, really pretty little bracelet. Hinged to test that. All right, next item is a gold tone clamp with black cabochons that are, I think, gold to the touch with these really pretty like glittery cabochons next to it. Um, there is another rhinestone right here. So I would say this is a White House Black Market. So nice. I like that one. I'll lens it just to make sure, but I would just say that's that. Um, Patchington.com. It was $24 and it is oval metal link short necklace. This is gorgeous. Um, to me, this gives me Swarovski, um, very high-end designer. They are a silver tone Lynx with Pave rhinestone. It kind of gives me um, Tiffany & Co. vibes, right guys? You can definitely see that Tiffany & Co. inspiration. Nice. I'll have to look that brand up. I'm not familiar with it. Okay, we have a little wire wrap rose gold bracelet it kind of matches that other rose gold one that i had so maybe they go as a set little crystals but that was the other rose gold one these are pretty um all right this is gorgeous this is another one that's only marked with a rhinestone <laughs> um unfortunately this is broken so this is broken I'm trying to see if i could fix it somehow but i don't think so but it was absolutely gorgeous. It was um, like solitaire cut rhinestones with pave butterflies. Um, absolutely stunning, but unfortunately broken. I'll have to see. Maybe I can fix it. I don't know. Um, this kind of looks like a bright. Oh, yeah. We have a Brighton bracelet. You can tell some um, something's brightened by the heart clasp usually. And also just by the look of the item. So this is just a bangle. And it has a sister charm. And a little cupcake charm. So I will Google lens this to make sure it's brightened. But I believe that is just by the closure. 
We have another bracelet. This looks like the one that was also a capuchon. It's gonna have like a similar vibe to them. So this might be White House Black Market. This does look like a natural stone. Maybe a dyed howlite. Um, this is awesome. It's a gold tone, like a memory um, coil. There you go, coil necklace. It has these pave rhinestone um, end caps. Super gorgeous. I would say this is probably the front of it. No markings, but with coil necklaces, a lot of them are not marked. So you have to just Google lens and do some research. So it's nice. Excellent condition. A lot of things have been in good condition. Just, you know, there's been some things that is not, not like this necklace right here. This, I can already see there's a missing rhinestone. All right, this is gorgeous. Look at this. The untangle that. Might fast forward this part. All right, so I was able to untangle most of it. This, um, this necklace, let's see what it is. White House Black Market. It's a convertible necklace that has removable layers. Retailed for $60. I cannot get this thing untangled. So I'll have to do that off camera. But that is definitely a good solo piece. Okay, next we have this. I haven't looked at anything yet, so I'm not sure what's what. Um, sometimes these can be silver. Sometimes these are just costume. I don't see maker's marks on this. This is a gorgeous evil eye with pave rhinestones. And they do seem to be all there. So nice little evil eye. Okay, this has a missing rhinestone right there. And But this is Serafina. So what I'll do is just take the pendant off of it and sell it as a three-strand necklace. But I'm going to take it to Style Encore. They like Serafina, which is an anthropology brand, I believe. Um, I've had it before. I've sold it before. Mostly to Style Encore. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love these like aqua topazy looking rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if there's any maker's marks. I do not see any, which is very surprisingly. I thought this was going to be like a Swarovski or something. But no maker's mark. Oh, it is marked. 925V. I was not expecting this to be 925. I'm not going to lie. Or N. So it's marked 925 there with an N right there. So, hmm. The clasp, I don't think, was marked 925, was it? No, the clasp is not marked 925. So it could be a piece silver plated. A lot of things that are marked 925 that aren't sometimes are just silver plated. All right. We have this necklace. This kind of looks like a Chico's to me or a White House Black Market. It's a convertible. It can be worn as a toggle or just long. Really pretty with a tiger's eye, a mother pearl or pearl, and some glass beads. It's pretty. Okay, and then this looks like it could be silver. I'm trying to see if I can find a clasp on here. Okay, I don't see a clasp. So some of the links are magnetic, some of them are not. So I'm not sure, but this looks like it could be maybe a jade or I'm not sure, but they're really pretty. Um, like natural stones, glass, this is a real pearl. So it's a really nice strand of, I believe, gemstones and pearls and glass. So stunning. Love that. All right, so that was everything we pulled out so far. Let's pull out some more. This is weird. We have Chico's missing. We've had this necklace before. We got it in the throw-out box. Chico's. And let's do one more. There we go. And there was a note in here. Costume jewelry lot. Some new tags. Huh. So there was some new tags in it. But they marked it as a new tag. 
Um, this is cool. I like this. All right. That should be enough for now. Ooh, it's still in there. So let's do this weird thing first. I'm curious. So it's like a collar length necklace. There's absolutely no maker's marks on this. It's like a really big watch band necklace. It's quite something. Hmm. Look into that. Okay, we have a Chico's. Hopefully we get the match. That one retailed for $25. Really pretty. All right. This is gorgeous. This reminds me of a Kate Spade. So it's a gold tone link with like an opal, opalite glass rhinestone. No maker's marks, which is very surprising. Okay. Let's get into that one. We have a rhinestone slider adjustable bracelet. Oh, that is... I know this maker's mark. Um, is it Jessica Simpson? I can't, can't remember. That might be Jessica Simpson. I can't remember. But it's really pretty. Little slider bracelet. Okay, this is a, definitely like a vintage inspired bracelet. Oh, it opens like so. No maker's marks on that. Let's look into that one. Ooh, this looks like a piece of real, maybe African turquoise. Really nice. Looks like a peridot, turquoise, citrine, maybe some quartz, maybe some carnelian. More peridot, more turquoise. So this looks like all natural stones, maybe hematite too. This class looks like 925. Um... I don't see any marks, but I would definitely say this is 925 silver. Ooh, there we go. So gorgeous natural stone and turquoise and what I believe is sterling silver clasp. Definitely looks like it to me. There's another necklace that reminds me of Kate Spade. I feel like all the big name brand jewelry brands just copy each other. So something that may look like someone may not be because... Someone else copy them. Okay, here we go. Here's a pair of Chico's. New on the tag. $25 retail. Really pretty um, rhinestone and studded dangle earrings. Definitely a sellable piece. Here's that Ann Taylor. It's like a greenish tinted glass that's faceted with black enamel on a ribbon cord. And let's just double check to make sure. Yep, and Taylor. All right, let's see. This kind of looks like silver too. It may just be silver plated, but it definitely kind of has its silver look. This is like maybe a dyed. Are these glass beads? They're glass beads with um that are hand knotted in between. Again, it has like that heart toggle clasp. Um, I'm about to test that. We have a Claire's. It's a gold tone link necklace. I would style Encore. I'm trying to stick to things that I can at least list for um, like $15. Um, this is really pretty. Long necklace. Again, it has this logo, which I know the logo. I just can't think of it. Is this Ann Taylor? I can't remember. Maybe the Ann Taylor factory. I can't remember, but it's really pretty. You're probably going to hear me say it's really pretty at least a million times in this video. But, you know. But I just can't believe I got this box for such a good price. Um... I would prefer to buy name brands, new tag lots, especially more now recently, um, because, um, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen some of the more recent Google Blue boxes and American Thrift Supply boxes. They just have not been good, like at all. So I would rather spend my money 
and get a box that I know is going to be at least something decent in it. This is Ann Taylor Factory. Really pretty. So the other necklace is probably Ann Taylor too. That was similar. Oh look, we have another one of these. This one has, it's all clear rhinestones instead of multicolor. Excellent use to condition. I feel like maybe new without tags even. So nice. Let's see. This looks like silver too. We're getting a lot of little silver pieces, I feel like. So it looks like silver. I could be wrong. It's tangled. But yeah, wasn't my last thread up box amazing? Oh my gosh, I still can't get over this Sopata bracelet. It's like my favorite thing ever right now. Okay, the clasp is marked 925. I thought so. Um, yeah. So 925 silver. It's on like a little purple cord. It has like either a faux pearl or real pearl with a faceted purple stone. Not sure if that's natural or glass, but it's pretty. It's faceted. And there's like a little rhinestone that dangles too. And oh, a little hang tag that's marked 925. Oh, fossil. This is a fossil, fossil 925. So it's marked fossil right there. I don't know if you will see that or not. So a fossil 925 necklace. Yes, please. I will take that. Ooh, this is stunning. This reminds me of like a Swarovski piece. Um, it is marked no it's not marked it's like a little bump on the clasp which i thought was supposed to be a maker's mark but it's not really pretty little tennis bracelet this is an alex and ani it looks like it's in like new condition it's a gorgeous enameled butterfly really pretty and it's marked luna and it's from 2015 16. So gorgeous. I like getting um, Alex and Ani's. I just don't like getting Alex and Ani's that are in, you know, horrible condition. <laughs> I've sold a many of Alex and Ani's, um, you know, on Mercari and um, Poshmark. Um, I just started listing on eBay, literally just started a week ago, or not even, a couple days ago three days ago. Um, well, when this video goes up, it'll probably be a week, but, um, I've already sold two things on there. Um, so that's awesome. I went through a really long dry spell on Poshmark. These are real pearls. I believe these are real pearls, but it's on a gold tone clasp. It looks like it should be marked something, but it's not. So I'm gonna have to look into that. Little rice pearl necklace. All right, so this looks like it's marked something too. This is marked Pure Vita. So this is more of an anklet. It's quite long. So I definitely say that's an anklet. But um, another thing that I've sold, you know, on Poshmark and on Mercari is Pure Vitas. Some people throw them in craft. I do not. I do list them if they're in good condition. And Pure Vitas clean up pretty well because they're cord. You can just throw them in, the, in a sink with some Dawn dish soap and you can clean it up. Obviously, you can't do that with all jewelry. Um, but that's what I do with my Pure Vitas if they need a little bath. Um... This is Mart Monet. So it's a Monet necklace. It is gold tone with these links. It's a, quite a long one. Definitely a vintage piece. That's the vintage one of the more vintage older um, Monet tags. So like I'm getting Monet. Um, this I believe is one necklace. I'm trying to figure that out. Yes. No, okay, this is not part of it. Okay, so this is all one necklace. Again, it is marked with this logo, which I feel like is Ann Taylor, but it could be BCBG. I honestly cannot remember. Um, so that's nice. 
Maybe if I Google ones, it'll come up. That did have a little bit of wear on the clasp, so definitely not new. Um, this is not marked. These are gorgeous, like gold, gold brown, silver faceted glass beads with a tassel. Pretty. All right. I might have to pause and untangle this. Okay, this is a New With Tags Genuine Leather White House Black Market. And this is the Genuine Leather part. Kind of gives me on, um, oh, what's the name of that brand that does shoes? Ferragamo. Kind of reminds me of like the Ferragamo kind of look. Super nice gold tone leather. This one retailed for 55, but was on clearance for 45. Good sellable piece with that pave little link. Okay, this is going to be crazy to untangle. Do it. I think we have another one of these multi layer necklaces, convertible $60 retail. So I'm going to put that to the side. Looks like there's some like little dainty necklaces mixed in with it, but nothing crazy. Okay, we have an earring. So this probably came off something. I'll put that there. We have a pair of hoops. They do not look like they're silver. They're a silver tone. So we're going to style. We have some really cool um, silver tone mesh earring hoops. Some hoop earrings. Those are really cool, actually. I like those. Okay, and this says key to your heart and there's some like key dangles that are like caught in it. Well, the keys are stuck. I'll have to get them untangled. Um, I don't think this is an origami owl. I don't see an origami owl maker's mark. But um, it says key to your heart and I will Google Lensa just to make sure. That's the side. Okay, we have a silver tone. Always check these clasps really well. A lot of times these clasps are silver. This one is not. Um, I don't see Maker's Mark. This matches that bracelet that we got. Um, but I don't know what that means. So, hmm. Okay. This is a no name. Oh, nope, it is smart. This, I believe, is Premier Designs. I think this one's Premier Designs, but I'll Google Lens it just to make sure. Google, if you can't tell, Google Lens is my best friend when it comes to looking up jewelry. So it is like a bib. Kind of reminds me of a gate. <laughs> um, really cool silver tone links that are textured. And I believe that's Premier Designs. So I will like that listing. I will like to, I will, blah, blah, blah. I will definitely list that. <laughs> Get tongue tied like crazy. Um, oh, who, who, who does those marks? I can't remember. Um, kind of has like that vintage look, but I think it's newer. To look at that one up as well. All right. We have a no name gunmetal faceted black glass with a black glass tassel. It reminds me of Bobble Bar. I don't see Maker's Mark. Put that aside to look up. And we're just going to keep going, actually. We're just going to make this a long video, I guess. Um, oh my gosh, this is stunning. So this is a convertible pendant. So, um, wow. Look how stunning that is. So it's silver tone with clear rhinestones with like a faux coral center. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Okay, oh look, we have the matching necklace that goes with that bracelet. Hmm, I wonder if that is silver. Oh look, we have the matching earring to go with um, that necklace and bracelet set. Right there. So, and then we have that. So it looks like we might be getting some sets. Um, this is a clamper, um, textured gold and silver tone, no maker's marks, but it's in good condition. 
Um, okay, we have a cuff bracelet that is pavade at the ends. Um, no maker's marks, but they're really pretty. This is a, this has wear, which is unfortunate because it's really pretty. Put to this side. I might be able to clean it up, but. Ooh, this is um, vintage Damascene, I believe, right? I don't get Damascene very well. Look how pretty that is. It's black with um, gold etched designs. So we have a gorgeous like little flowers and then we have some birds and they're a little bit different. Each one's a little bit different. So really nice. Um, it is marked with some kind of like logo or mark on the top, which I am not familiar with. And there's no markings like gold filled or gold, so I would say it's um, not, but it's really nice. I like that. Okay. We have a, it just says love, oh, love Avon. Aldo, Aldo. Aldo, little gold tone necklace. Has a little bit of wear on the back. Some of the gold is fading, so it's going to be a no for me. This one looks like it was sold at TJ Maxx. There's no, there's a tag. Again, just smart with that. You know what? I'm wondering if this is um, House of Harlow. Kind of looks like something they would do. And they are sold at um, TJ Maxx and they're not marked at TJ Maxx. So that's really gorgeous. It is a Cuban link, fully pavéed rhinestoned gorgeous. So I'm going to go up to style on, I'll go up to TJ Maxx and um, see if that is the same work as theirs. Um, see if the House of Harlow is the same work as the, as mine. Getting tongue tied. Okay. Um, how in the world did this happen? So this is a silver tone, kind of heavy link necklace. Um, I'd be style encore piece, or no, not style encore. They're not going to take that, but maybe clo um whatnot. This is broken. No, this looks like it was silver too. Let's see, no maker's marks, but it looked like it looks like silver. Um, but it was gemstones, so like peridot. Um, maybe amber and amethyst, and these are all real pearls, but look, it's broken. Now, I could just take this strand off. That's what I might do, actually. I think I might just take that strand off and sell it as a two-strand necklace. Because you would never know. Because there's no, like, three holes for this, um, it's just, like, an open clasp or end. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off that broken strip and sell it with two strips and I'll test it for silver um not in this video this video is gonna be way too long this is an unbranded gold tone necklace we have like maybe another um Brighton bracelet so I'm definitely gonna have to look into this that has a little butterfly definitely looks like Brighton to me This looks, I've had this neck, um, earring before several times. Okay. Oh, we have the match to this earring, but I don't know what they go to. Let's put that to the side. This looks like Kendra a little bit. Um, no maker's mark. Hmm. Kind of has like that Kendra Scott kind of vibe to it. Really pretty look that up okay and then this I think is two necklaces maybe is it yes so this necklace is George George Grace I've never heard of that brand before so I will have to look that up that's George Grace 
and this one is also a George Grace. So one side it's marked George, the other side it's marked Grace, and this one is a long, or no, it's a double layer um, glass and gold tone necklace. So two George Grace necklaces, I will have to look that up. I hope I haven't been out of focus this whole time. Um, next we have, this looks like Lily Pulitzer. Oh, it's Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley. It does have some condition issues, so I will have to clean that up. It looks like it's just like gunk on it, not like tarnish. So hopefully I can, but you never know. This is very odd. And it's stained. So that's not, I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, ooh, this is stunning. It is a Cuban link dangle with like a faux jade four leaf clover. And that is marked Bobble Bar. So hopefully we get the match. Put that there with the other ones. We have this. Oh, this kind of looks like that George necklace. Um, Spring Street. Never heard of it. It is long with like two little dangly stones. So pretty. I, I've never heard of that brand before. This is another little evil eye bracelet. Gorgeous. Not really my thing, but I know a lot of people love them. This is another gold tone unmarked necklace. Okay, we're almost getting to the end, guys. Almost there. This looks like an older clasp. And these are like faux pearls and art glass and opalite, maybe. Really pretty necklace. But that clasp does have a little bit of wear on the inside. Outside looks pretty good. So, hmm, I like that one. That might be, um, I don't know, that's a really nice one. I actually like those beads a lot. Okay, we're getting to the, almost to the end. We have some loose things at the bottom, which let's just go ahead and, oh look! We got the silver tone one. I think I already, I think I've sold the silver tone one. I think I sold to one of my friends. Um, Joanne. I think it was Joanne. Let's see. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this was Stella and Dot. Oh, there's a mosquito in here. And I want to say that had a marking of their logo on the inside. But maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But really nice Stella and Dot wide stretch bracelet. This looks like, um, is it J. Crew? I've had this in yellow tone and it was J. Crew. We did get the match to that logo or emblem that I have no idea what it means. Okay, um, we have another earring that's marked with a rhinestone. So again, probably a White House Black Market. Put that there. We have some little, little faux pearl, they're glass. Vintage glass. Um, I might list that, I don't know. This looks, looks like it could be silver. The earring back is marked 925, but I don't see markings on the actual earring itself. But the earring back is marked 925. Really pretty. All right, next, um, we have to match that earring. Next is this necklace. I don't see any maker's marks. It is a little faux turquoise dangle necklace, like so. Look into that. Looks unbranded. Oh my goodness, I love cloisonne jewelry. This is gorgeous. It's a lotus flower with a butterfly. Um, looks like this girl on like any strand that you would want it. It has a nice wide um, veil. So nice. I like that. I love cloisonne jewelry. Okay, these were latched together. And these are 
not Mart. So I have to Google Lens them. Really pretty little um, ear huggy hoops. They're fully pavade. So nice. Okay, next we have. I thought I saw Chico's in this box. Maybe it was the. Oh, this is um, Julie's. Um, I can't remember if I've ever gotten their jewelry before, but I know their clothes does quite well. Um, this is like a seed bead, big bead, um, with a silver tone tassel on like a suede or a faux suede strand. So that's kind of cool. This mosquito guy is not going to leave me alone. Go away. <laughs> Alright, um, we do have the match to the flower earring, which I believe, again, I believe is J. Crew, but, you know, I'm sure someone's copied them, and who knows how many people have done it now since. This is an LC. This one is a Liz Claiborne. Um, these are black glass, fasted, knotted in between, so probably one of the more older Liz Claiborne pieces. We have this gorgeous... Um, gold tone. It does have some wear, unfortunately, so that's going to go over here. Um, you have a Nordstrom earrings, and unfortunately the seed beads are coming off, so that is a no. Okay, we have a, another little like tennis bracelet. This one has a double lock closure. Um, again, not marked anything. Let's check the clasp. Nope, no marks, but it does have that double lock, which is really nice. This one's a matte silver tone with the solitaire cut CZs. Okay, this is Brighton for sure. This is the Screams Brighton. It has the double heart closure. This I did see in the picture, and I was like, oh, that's Brayton. And it has these really pretty rainbow, um, like, charms. And I believe they are removable. So you would take this off, and then you could take the, um, the charms off if you wanted to. Um, which I might, like, this one did not come with it, I believe. That one does not look like it came with it, so I might take that one off and sell it as it was when it was sold. Um, because that one, maybe I could sell that one by itself, I don't know. But really pretty Rondell Spacer beads with those rainbow rhinestones. Brighton bracelet. Excited about that. Um, this one is unbranded. Silver tone little paper clip chain with pave links in between. Pretty. We have this bracelet that is marked with an accursive A. I've gotten this before and I still can't remember what the brand is. Um, it's a cursive A. Cursive A. Silver tone with little rhinestones. Or no, not rhinestones. They're little squares. Little square links. Okay. We're almost to the end, guys. We're almost to the end. So we have that match. This one is not marked. Looks vintage. This is a Ann Taylor. Right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous rhinestones. Look at the ombre. And there's, I think, gunmetal. Are they rhinestones or just diamond cut? So it's just textured around them. So it looks like stones. And I love the ombre. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and that was Ann Taylor. All right, so we have another necklace, or no, bracelet. This is a Jones New York. J-N-Y, Jones New York. And it is like a little textured, faceted beads. Little charms. Jones New York. I can't remember if that was good to list or not. I don't think I think I sold on whatnot. Really pretty. We did get the match with the bobble bar, so that's awesome. I like those. Okay, this looks like Swarovski, but who knows now? 
This one is not marked anything, but really pretty vintage hearts with rainbow rhinestone links. Like that. Okay, and then we have a bunch of like earrings at the bottom. So the rest are all earrings. So let's pull those out. Oh, nope, we have a little ink dainty necklace. Ink. Ink. All right. So let's go ahead and get all of these out of there. Ooh. Oh, we almost missed this. And I'm keeping this for sure. Show that in a minute. Okay, so this is marked Monet. So we have these awesome Monet um, clip-on earrings. So nice, definitely sellable. This is a scarf clip. It's probably Avon, but I don't see makers. Okay, this is just a gold tone dome. We have these door knockers, which I am, unless they're marked. I don't see any maker's marks, so these will probably just end up going in my crafting because I am in search of door knocker earrings. Um, if you don't know, I do craft. I um, I craft with jewelry and I also craft with um, wood. I am a woodworker. So I am looking, I, I make fairy doors. I make fairy doors for fairy gardens. So those would be really cool for that. This is Mark Swarovski. So we finally have a Swarovski piece absolutely gorgeous like a frosted glass with a pave center and if you don't know Swarovski's maker's mark is that little swan amazing love those okay let's see this is definitely going to be a keeper for me I love anything that looks um like the um scarabs I love scarab jewelry I do not own very many pieces these do look like they could be real natural stones. It's probably on a gold plated or a gold filled chain. I will check in just a second. But those are little scarabs. Um, and yes, I do not see any maker's marks. That's going to be keeper. I love scarabs. This kind of looks like Brighton to me. So I'll have to Google lens those. All right. Um, this looks like it's marked with a V, which I believe is Vince Camuto. Again, could be mistaken, but that's what I believe that is, Vince Camuto. Those there. These are, um, silver tone. All right. Um, so I can't figure out what it's marked, but I just noticed it is missing some pave rhinestone. So that's going to be craft anyways. Um, okay, next we have these pretty enameled, like, sand dollars. Super cute. Love those. Oh, we did get the match to the Chico's, so we can sell that. All right. We have a little gold tone ball that's not marked anything. Okay, we do have these gorgeous earrings that are not marked which is a shocker because they're gorgeous um and we have them in like a peachy color um they're all mismatched i think oh we actually already have that so oh no 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 oh they match okay so we have three pairs of these like square cut cz rhinestone studs these two have 925 ear backs these ones do not so i have no idea and then our very last piece is marked JM. It's marked JM, I believe. I can barely see it. I don't know if you guys can or not, but it looks like JM. At first I thought it was Givenchy, but it's not. Um, and they're like these little kind of David Yerman inspired little earrings. All right, guys. So that was my box. We got a lot of really good pieces. I mean, we have a ton of earrings out here that are matched up. This is all my need to look up or I'm going to list um, pieces. And there's quite a bit in here. 
Um, very little. I think we had two or three broken pieces. Um, we got maybe a handful of jewelry that's not really worth anything that I'll take to style encore. And then we have some decent pieces for YouTube, some decent pieces for Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. And yeah, um, I think these are one of my faves, the Swarovski. The, where did that come? But yeah, I, I think the, um, these Swarovski are one of my faves. I love this Domestine bracelet. I really like my, um, the carved cabochon, um, oh lord, now I can't think of the name of it. The one I said I'm keeping for myself. But yeah, we got some sterling, we got some natural stones, we got Chico's and White House Black Market and Ann Taylor and Brighton. Um, I'm excited we got some vintage like Monet, so it wasn't like all new stuff. But I'm super excited, um, I'm definitely going to try and get some of the stuff listed soon and i will be doing a um jewelry show coming soon and i will have uh, maybe the details on the screen or they'll be posted on that page so definitely stay tuned for that all right guys please give this video a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it please leave a comment on what your favorite piece was um let me know if you would like me to get more shop goodwill lots to show um to unbox and um please make sure you're subscribed to this channel and my second channel which will be linked below Bye, guys. I hope you have a great day.